show our live audience today is from the Fairmont Park Civic League. They are honored to host this year's National Night Out event in Norfolk next Tuesday night. And joining us now to tell us more about the event is Neil George, Fairmont Park Civic League spokesperson, along with Moravia Reed from the city of Norfolk. Well, let's begin with you, Neil, yeah. talking about the importance of this because this is an event that's been going on for 29 years. And how, why is this important to Fairmont Park? Well, it's important to Fairmont Park, but it's important to all of us because this is really re America's night out against crime. We're recognizing the, you know, the changes that we made in our community, the positive changes. We've reduced crime. We're celebrating that. And there's a lot going on that night. Talk about oh, some of the events yeah. and Shoot Park and, and the community and how it gets together to make this a special night. Uh, the community really is coming together. We're going to be meeting at 530 New Hope. Church of God in Christ, 3232 Breast Avenue. I want to make mm -hmm. sure I get that in yes. so you know where to go. But we're going to start off, we're going to have opening ceremonies there. The vice mayor is going to be there. Any number of other people are going to be there talking. But what's really important is that we're celebrating crime-free neighborhoods. This year's theme, Safe and Fit in Fairmont Park. Nice. You know, we are celebrating that we are a safe place, that we are a fit place. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, you asked about activities. Mm -hmm. We definitely have activities. Yes. Not only are there going to be activities, um, there's going to be uh, a parade. parade. Uh, thank you. Right after the opening ceremonies, we go right into a parade. We'll go through the community, come back, ending at Shoot Park. And once we get to Shoot Park, there's going to be any number of activities there. There's going to be entertainment. There's going to be things for kids things for people of all ages. Lots of things for the kids to do. Moravia, oh, yeah. how important is it for uh, Civic Leagues to get involved with this and helping you guys in the police department? It's very important. We have Civic Leagues, uh, of course the Fairmont Park Civic League is involved and we have other Civic Leagues who traditionally participate in National Night Out. They show support for each other because all of them want to have as little crime as possible in their communities. So it's a way of bonding and interacting and learning what, what works in one neighborhood and sharing ideas. Do you, do you see that it is making a difference when Civic Leagues do get together? Yes, it does make a difference. They learn from each other, mm -hmm. they share experiences, they help each other. They help each other form Neighborhood Watch or organize Neighborhood Watch, and it's a win-win for all the Civic Leagues that participate. It's such an important thing to pass on to the children because they need to see everyone working together right now. True, and actually, kids have been involved. We've got a couple of members of our Youth Civic League here, you know, behind me, mm -hmm. but they've been involved. We have had everybody involved. The city has been fantastic. The police department. The Navy is providing volunteers. Target has been incredible. Not only are they the national sponsor for National Night Out, but they've been very good to us here locally. And so uh, I'm trying to think of some of the others. Oh, we have the all churches. of our law enforcement agencies. We have Fire Rescue. Uh, we have the Sheriff's Office. The Commonwealth Attorney's Office has provided a lot of support as well. And we have other city departments that are working together mm -hmm. to help us. And we have some private citizens as well. It's great when the city and communities can come together. It is the 29th Annual Norfolk National Night Out hosted by Fairmont Park Civic League. It is Tuesday, August 7th, 5.30 p.m. at New Hope Church of God in Christ, 3232 Breast Avenue. The parade ends at Shoot Park at 2300 Shoop Avenue. For more information, call 664-6937. It's the 29th annual, and congratulations keeping it going, and have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. It's good.